Looks like you can kickstart Laravel projects and filament projects with fill panel. So let's uh let's give it a shot. A customizable CMS, an e-commerce site, a learning platform. Cool. So we're in like Flynn. Well, howdy, howdy, Laravelians. I just saw this notification and was like, what the heck is this? So I figured I'd check it out and I figured I'd bring you along with me because why wouldn't I? I have no idea what this thing is, but it looks kind of cool just reading through it a little bit and uh, let's check it out. This thing called fill a panel. So I uh, pulled up fill a panel here. Looks like you can kickstart Laravel projects and filament projects with fill a panel. So after reading through this a little bit, it looks like you can actually just come in here and hit a few buttons and create an entire Laravel application and like magically. So let's uh let's give it a shot. All right. And let's take a look here. Connecting your Git account allows you to one click push your complete project to your Git account without even downloading it. Looks like it's already connected because I registered with it. Makes sense. So let's see if we can like rebuild at least parts of um, LaravelOnline.com with this. That'd be kind of interesting, right? What are these templates? A customizable CMS, an e-commerce site, a learning platform, an analytics platform. Wow. All right. So there's like some pre-made things that you can add in here. That sounds pretty interesting. Projects. All right, no projects yet. This is probably where we're going to start. And then deployments. So once you finalize a project, it looks like you can deploy them maybe to over back over to GitHub. There's an API, here's some documentation, some questions, your own profile. Okay, so let's check out projects. We'll click new projects. We'll call it Misty Butterfly, I like it. Panels. In Laravel.com, uh, sorry, LaravelOnline.com, we, uh, we have an admin panel and we also have a, an author panel. By the way, if you haven't been following along on YouTube, I invite you to come over and take a look. We've been building out an entire application from the ground up in Filament, uh, in Livewire, and Vault, and all that stuff on the front end as well, Tailwind CSS. Uh, it's laravelonline.com, articles slash blog, plus courses, plus links to the YouTube channel, and all sorts of cool stuff. So if you don't mind, here's a link. We'll see you over there too. So let's try that author. And we made... The admin panel, I think, is emeralds. And our author panel, we'll just make it lime. Uh, let's see. We don't want to allow registration here, but we do want to allow it here. All right, we'll click next. Models. All right, so we have an article. Wow, okay. So we can like define all the fields that we need and, and want here. So we have a title, and we have a body. Just to keep it simple, let's add a relationship. Belongs to user. Right, let's try it as an author. We're gonna add a category, and this just has a name. Um, that's it, actually, remove this. A category can uh, belong to many articles, okay? No, I thought I deleted you. Well, I don't want you here anymore, so be gone. Oh, this is cool, nullable, invisible. This is pretty nice, but delete. That's a little a little bit of a bug. I'm not sure why that's why that's happening, but we'll just put in something else here. We can always get rid of it later. All right, we'll click next. All right, so any packages that we want. Bounty Laravel permissions. Submit. Okay, so now that that's created, I can like move it over to, I think um, this is how I'm, I'm guessing this, this is how it works, right? I can move this over to GitHub or I can continue working on it and building it and then move it over. Or maybe I can move it over and then work on it and then move it over and it like overwrites the changes or keeps you know my new changes over there. Or do you have to wait till you finalize it? So let's see, we'll say that we're done with it, we'll finalize it, okay? This will finalize your project, it'll make it available to download after it's been built, okay? And it's building, which is interesting. How is it building this? Is it spinning up a container someplace, pulling in everything that I said to do, writing those migrations, setting up all of the, the models? Okay, so you can download it right away, or you can upload it to Git. And that's in the deployment. So that's where we are is in the deployment. So let's say upload to Git and we'll leave it like that for now. And I don't see anything. There's no status here, but let's go ahead into GitHub, go into repositories. Hey, look, there it is. Misty Butterfly Fill a Panel. Okay, cool. So let's click on that. 
init by Philipanel. Clone repository, github.com, Philipanel. That's the one. Clone. Open it in PHP Storm. Composer install. Probably need to do an npm install and npm run. And let's check it out in the browser. So Misty Butterfly Fillet Panel. Server error, of course. I think we need to copy our env over. Hold on, new. Copy env. By example, env. Now refresh. And no encryption key, so let's generate. And we probably need a database. So this gave us a home page. Pretty cool. We've got debug bar down here. We can log right into the uh, admin panel or the author panel. So the CSS didn't come in here. I'm not sure why that. Maybe there is some additional steps here. So let's, yeah, let's run these. We need to set up a database real quick. We'll just make one here. Let's go to our ENV, make sure that that's what it is. Fill a panel. Let's migrate. Let's link storage. And run all these things. So yeah, I probably, Oh, <laughs> you should, should put that at the top, you guys. Um, I went through these step by step. All right, anyway. Um, so cool. Um, let's refresh. Okay, okay, okay. Now we didn't set up a user. With filament, you have to run the command. There we go. Chain, and it's shane at laravelonline.com. Okay. Shane at laravelonline.com. Wow, very cool. And here's articles. There's no articles yet. And we can add a title and we can add a body. So, hello from Philipanel. We made it. Well, they did. Create categories. Um, awesome sauce. And I don't know because I don't know. This is really cool, you guys. Like you can just imagine, and this is how I kind of start most of my projects anyways, writing down everything that I'm gonna need on paper. I know it's like an ancient technology, but it's like, you know, the Mayans use this and they lasted a long time, right? But I write down every like model, the relationships, all of the columns that I think I'm gonna need. I start playing around with it. And as I need things, I go back and I rewrite and re um, reevaluate and rewrite some of that stuff. Man, this is really cool. You can really set up and get going really fast with things. And the more you plan ahead, um, the faster you're gonna be able to get to where you wanna be anyway. So I do have a question. I wonder if I go back into my project and do any updates. Okay, so it won't let you update any projects that have been finalized, which makes sense, but it would be kind of interesting I don't know how feasible it is. I'm just looking at this from a uh, um, spectator's point of view, right? If I could, even if a uh, project's been finalized, if I could go back into it, make some updates, make some changes and push to the same repo, just those changes that were made. Or even like if behind the scenes, it's deleting everything and moving everything fresh into it, you know, whatever you gotta do. But so I think that's really cool. I mean, you get a ton of work done quickly, number one. Number two, it, it gives you an opportunity to really think about how you want to build out your application and do it before it's even like required. Thanks for your time. I hope you have a great rest of your week. If you like this video, please like the video, you know, helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll continue putting content out just like this to help you guys out. We'll see you next time.